Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. So, have you ever downloaded a mod and on a Mac, and it gets into your desktop, or gets into your downloads folder, and it's, and it is like this. Okay. Well, this is the thing. So, in order to actually install that into Farming Simulator mods, you have to go in, right click it, or highlight everything, right click it, compress, then it creates an archive, then you click you click on it to change the name, and you have to type in the name and all that stuff. Well, let's not have to do that anymore. <clears throat> so the very first thing we want to do in this is we want to go to our launch pad and go to other and go to terminal <coughs> another way to do it is by pressing uh, command space or the windows key and space if you have a keyboard like mine and then just type in terminal and it'll pop up now what we want to type in here but before we do this I'm gonna show you one more thing Go into, and you should do this too. Um, go to go, go to go, and click computer, Mac HD, users, your username, and notice that there's no library. Okay? It's a hidden folder, is what it is. Now to unhide it, type in ch flags, no hidden, the tilde key which is uh, above the tab to the left of the one hold shift and click it forward slash library and then hit enter or enter okay now it appeared and now we have access to hidden folders or sorry we have access to that specific hidden folder <clears throat> which is good for what we're gonna do so now that we've done that, now to hide them again, you just type in um, ch flags hidden tilde forward slash library. And that'll hide it. But for this, we need it to be unhidden. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what we're doing. You can go ahead and close terminal, and you can, I'm going to go ahead and go into library, application support, farming simulator 2017, and mods. <clears throat> so now we have it here now as you can see I don't have the ZZZ BGA extension in this and to show you even further let's arrange by name and it's not in there now I have this little icon right here what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to take a mod such as this take the folder drag it onto the icon and release. Now you can see it just appeared here. If I unzip this and open it and then open the one that I have downloaded you can see it's the same exact three items. Just to show you that this does work. <clears throat> With very little user input. Uh, I'll delete this one again so we can try it later and I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one. I'll grab this one. And let's open this because I did want to test this. I don't know how well this is going to work. So I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to drag them both over it. Okay, that doesn't work. That makes two things of that. So you'd have to do this one at a time. So that's the only downside to it, I guess. <clears throat> but it's still a lot faster than doing it the other way. So, here's the way we're going to do this. <clears throat> go ahead and open up your mods directory. And go ahead and minimize that. Um, I don't need the... Wait, do I have the... Yeah, that's already in there. So I can delete this one. Now, well, the way we're going to do this is you're going to go to Launchpad. And if you didn't click out of this, you should already be in Other. 
and what you need to do is click on automator <clears throat> and then just click it'll ask you if you want to open one just click done and then up in the top left file new now <clears throat> the one you want to choose here is an application because if you read it it says applications are self-running workflows any files or folders dropped onto an application will be used as input that's what we want to do <clears throat> now the very first thing you want to do is you want to set a, uh, a value you want to set a value of a variable so at the top you'll see name or you'll see um, where it says actions and then on the right hand side there's a search bar just type in set and it'll be the bottom one and just drag that over here now what you want to do here is you want this to be a uh, you want a new variable so what you do is click on it and then click and a little window will pop up name this path sorry you actually gotta click on it path and then click done <clears throat> and you know what go ahead and set another one on there and don't worry about it right now so the next thing we want to do is we want to run a cell script a shell script so type in run and then click shell script and drag it between the two and you can see them separate it go ahead and click that leave the uh, bin bash the way it is and what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the pass input from uh, <clears throat> from standard in to as arguments and then we're gonna delete this here and we're gonna type in forward slash USR forward slash bin forward slash base name a space quotation mark a dollar sign and a one and then an, another quotation mark and that's it for that so you don't have to worry about this one anymore so you can click on the arrow to minimize it and then the same with the first one <clears throat> then the next one that I had you add the set value of variable well I guess I can explain what they're all doing so what this does is it takes the full path so if I open up my downloads folder what it's doing is it's getting the full path of this so if I go get info and then I click here well highlight all this control command copy sorry I keep forgetting I'm on a Mac now and then we're gonna go to notes and new note okay <clears throat> what it's doing is it's getting the entire path right here and it's saving it as a variable <clears throat> so that's all that's doing so then what it does is this one takes the base name of uh, this path which would take the base name which is the BGA extension or ZZZ BGA extension so what we're gonna do next is we're going to set another value or set another variable and what this does is it's saving the name of the folder so if we click var variable and then click new variable let's change this one to folder again you have to make sure you're clicking on this or else it will type it somewhere else change it to folder name and then click done now the next thing we want to do is we want to come back over here <coughs> and type in get value or get v so get value of variable and drag that into the end and then what you will need to do is you need to right click and 
right click the tag get value of variable and ignore input so what the first three commands are doing is it's just setting variables for us to use later <clears throat> so now we need to get the value of a variable and the value we're gonna get is path <clears throat> Next, we're going to add another one. We're going to get the folder's contents, which is literally what it says, is what it's called, get folder's contents. And we're going to drag this over. And that's going to get the, uh, the folder's contents that we drop on here. So it's going to, the very first one, when we drop it on there, it's going to do this. I guess it's going to do these first, so we really don't need to get the value, I guess. I could probably take that off, but I'm not going to, because this works. <clears throat> so we get the, uh, we're getting the folder's contents here. Now what we need to do is, so if I explain this a little bit better, um, we get the folder contents of the path which is all these items. So basically it just highlights these for us. Then we need to search again for create and then you can go ahead and type in uh, AR or whatever, create archive. Let's drop this in at the end. And now we're going to create an archive. sorry <clears throat> okay so on this all we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this and we're going to save it as where is it at the top one where it says same folder as input and we're just gonna leave this here like that <clears throat> now we need to rename that folder we're creating or the file so rename finder item so yes we want to it'll give you a uh, a warning click add <clears throat> and we want to rename okay whenever you type in or whenever you enter the rename item it's gonna ask you if you're just gonna add in the copy finder finder items you don't want to do that so click the X to get rid of it and the very first thing we want to do is the first option is to click on where's it at make a single item like this make sure this is base name only and then type in folder name so what that does is that adds the variable folder name from up here which is the folder name of the folder you'll drop And then we want to move the folder somewhere. So now we want to move finder items. So we drag this down here. Now, <clears throat> the reason I had you unhot, I didn't want to open that. The reason I wanted you to unhide the finder or the, the library <clears throat> is right now it's hidden. I can't find it so is because whenever you click here where it says to then you scroll down to other and then up here where it says whatever yeah, I don't know what it'll say click on your username here as you can see I don't have the option for library in here anymore so with its when it's not hidden Oops, didn't want to do that. <clears throat> now I have library. So just click on the down arrow. You don't want to double click it or it'll choose this as your uh, input. And then go down to application support. Scroll down to farming simulator. Scroll down to mods. Click on it once to highlight it and click choose. And that is it for the entire, 
thing. Now all you have to do is come up here to File, go down to Export, and export it to, you'll have to change it, but export it to your uh, your desktop and then give it a name at the top export as and I'm just gonna call it this tutorial sure that'll work <clears throat> um, you can code don't don't worry about code signing um, and then click save and it'll save it Oh my bad, it opened up the, you actually have to open it up and then click save. And then if you want you can save this script, if not it's up to you, but I already have it right here. Alright, so now all you have to do is drag whatever you want, so BGA extensions from my downloads folder. All I have to do is grab it, bring it over to this tutorial and drop it and there it is adds it perfectly every time <clears throat> I know this was kinda long and I kinda scatterbrained a little bit but and I do apologize for that uh, but if you need a clearer um, example of this uh, let me know uh, if you need any help or have any problems let me know and as always, leave your questions, comments, and concerns in the comments section below. And make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.